Hey folks, Big Woodsman here. Today we're going to be assembling and doing a review on these Costco Adirondack chairs, or if you're in Canada, Muskoka chair. So stay tuned, let's see what we get into. So here we are in the shop today. Now I've searched around a lot of different places, gone to a lot of small outfitter shops, little of uh, backyard producers, to try to find a decent quality Adirondack chair. And the best thing I found so far for the price has been from Costco. So they actually, when they have a sale, the price on these chairs is very worth it. They're a composite plastic chair. Uh, basically, they've got a complete warranty on the coloration. They're not going to fade. They're not going to wear in the UV. So today, well, let's, we're going to put them together. We're going to see what kind of quality we've got. So the first thing we need to do is get this guy up on the table. Now, these are not light. They're probably at least a 50 pounds a piece per box. So if you need to get a friend and build these, absolutely. I advise it. So let's go ahead and open these up. First unboxing, we can see that they're, well, probably 50% already built. The quality looks really good. They're nice and solid, nice good plastic, wrapped well, packaged up nicely. So upon initial inspection, quality of this chair so far, all the pieces looks really good. Everything looks to be put together really solid. Um, the only thing that I would say so far is just in the manufacturing of the plastic. I don't know if you can see this hopefully, but there's a lot of plastic burrs still attached to the chair that you'd have to come along with a little utility knife and hopefully clean all that off if you want it to look absolutely pristine. But so far, that's about the only negative comment I have, and that's very minimal, very easy to fix. So moving over to our tools, it says we need a Phillips screwdriver. We need either that or a Robertson, a red number two Robertson, um, a 3 8 nut driver. So what I've done is created a bit for the drill, the cordless drill. So that way I don't have to sit here and ratchet this all day. And then to nail in the pins, I always like to use a brass hammer for nailing in metal pins. So let's go ahead and start putting these bad boys together.
So the next thing to note when you're putting in the uh, rear supports for the back of this chair, there is a left and a right. So it is um, very critical that you get the right piece on the right side. So take your two pieces, they're not labeled. It doesn't tell you left or right, but just double check them with the alignment pins that they give you. If you put that in, you will see that the angle on the bottom of the foot is actually correct. They do align properly. So make sure you get the left and the right on the right leg. Is that correct? So, so far the installation has been going really well, except when I got back to the last two screws that hold the uh, side rails on. So you can see here, there's a gap and it's tipped up. So I'm gonna have to come up with a clamp or something that sort of flexes that back down in order to close that gap so I can get this screw in. 
So let's get that done. I really don't want to have to pilot hole new holes. So I don't know, hopefully we can figure it out with a clamp. So there's one chair completely built. Um, yeah, didn't take us very much time, maybe about 20 minutes, half an hour to sort of put this together. Probably went a lot quicker if it wasn't for these back two screws. I don't know why they were causing me such problems, but uh, I've got two more chairs to build. I've already built one, you saw at the start of the video. This is number two, I got two more. We have a set of four that's gonna go around our fire pit. So I'll speed through that. The instructions are all gonna be in, of course, the package when you put them together, so I'm not gonna go through every single detail. But let's fire these other two together. So hey folks, here's a little segment that I wanna call Blue-Eyed Hacks. So here's a couple little tidbits that's maybe gonna help you when you decide to build something like this or very similar on your own. So every single drill that comes has a slip clutch on it and it's used for items just like this. So you can see here, here's the screws that we're gonna be putting in. This is composite plastic material, it's very easy to sort of over tighten those and strip the plastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the slip clutch on our drill. And this collar that's on the edge of your drill, you can easily spin this and select the amount of torque that you wanna put on your drill. So in this case, when we drill these in, once they hit bottom, It'll slip clutch the drill and you can't over tighten them. Really good point when you're wearing with soft woods, plastic, things like that. There's your blue eyed hack for the day. So there you have it folks. This is Costco's leisure line of Adirondack chair. I find them a very, very strong, very comfortable chair. I really love the composite plastic. They came 90% assembled, didn't take much, except for the back two arms to attach. That was the only problem we had, and that was easily rectifiable. Other than that, very pleased with the quality and craftsmanship of these chairs. So remember, it's life out there in the woods. I'll see you out there in it.